Hello, hello and welcome everybody, Budokai here with some Russian fishing for. In this episode today I am going to show you how to fish efficiently this beautiful river named Seversky Donets. By fishing efficiently I mean using the wacky rig method on three rods, on the boat drifting, which I think is pretty calm and enjoyable. So let's get it on. The setups that I'm gonna use on this, it's gonna be two ultralight rods and one method rig which will be converted into using as spinning. By the way, I forgot to mention that two of the rods are gonna be used as wacky rig and one rod will be used as spinning because I can't really convert the method rig into a wacky rig. So these are gonna be my setups. For the first rod usually i switch this to a lighter color and the second rod the second rod is going to be a darker color and on the third rod which i said is going to be spinning i'm using something depends on the colors it's really up to you just consider it if it's raining or if it's sunny leaders are mostly 6.9 small leaders we don't really need big leaders after all they are like really small fish so i'm using small leaders on all and this is kind of the setup in any case we're gonna wait till it's daytime because the most efficient way of fishing this is on the daytime so from the moment that the sun pops out we are on the boat let's go so as you can all see the sun is still rising so that's a perfect start in any case before we get on i forgot to mention that uh, it's pretty cool to check the leaderboards you should do it like as i'm fishing with ultralight so just check the Seversky, the fish that it are on Seversky, they are like example for this. They are biting on this wacky. Let's see some other one if we find. They are not, but in any case, if you need some easier guidance. But no further ado, let's get it on. We start from here and we try to drift down how much we can. Just shut up the shot not shut up <laughs> shut off the engine and drift your way down that's all put my rods so as i said one it's darker color one it's a lighter color and we'll see how they go if something doesn't really get bites then we're gonna change i usually like to stand up you can always stand up on the boat while you are drifting and the engine is off but you always have to sit if you want the engine to be going and here we go with our first bite <laughs> let's see for how long can we drift till sun goes down where are we gonna end up on the map First fish, common roach. Pretty nice. Here we go with the second fish. Oh, this is a nice surface. Still early morning, so we can get some eyes and chops. Sure, a bit. They can be fighters on these smaller rigs. As I said, this is an eyed. Nice one sometimes i don't even need to pull out my my third rod because the fish are just biting constantly especially when it's warm and sunny how it's going to be today but rainy days can have a good bite rate also it depends maybe you just have to change the the bait the lures you have to watch out for the line sometimes because it can get how it's on this rod okay now he's pulling but sometimes they are coming towards the boat so they are not really pulling 
but if your line is how to say it not sla not uh, tight that can be a fish on sometimes you don't even need three rods two is way enough that's what i like about this map drifting with wacky worms you can have a pretty pretty constant bite rate not always tagged fish as you can see we're not catching just tagged fish i usually throw throw back the ones that they are not tagged but this time i'm gonna leave it on so you can see how many fish we can catch in like a daytime daytime fishing sesh i would say daytime because i am not really drifting on the night time because eh, the chances are really low to catch at least not in this bite rate that a road okay here and there it's good to check where the boat is going so you won't go too two on the sides I like to keep it in the middle but the river will guide you pretty nicely most of the time <coughs> okay we're on this is a 10 fish already that's pretty amazing And 11th is already hooked. It's a chub. Yep. Usually, I will. Wait. I will have to arrange the boat when I'm getting into curves or so because then it's a bit tricky. As you can see, we're drifting. No engine. No nothing. Big perch. Okay, something wants to pull. Come on. We are two in-game hours in and already 12 fish. That's a stand there. 12, 13. Let's arrange the boat. Just sit down, start the engine, just go a bit towards the middle. In any case, it's good to stay in these deeper holes also. And like that. And now we can switch up the engine and stand up. I will check if there is anything. But there's nothing. So. Can I cast one with this? Nope. We already have a fish on. I guess. And we have a fish on this also. Didn't even have to reel much. Fish already hooked up. Job. Nice. What do we have here? Pumpkin seed. Okay, that run. Not tag, but we take it. Over 15 fish in 7 minutes. So we're catching around 2 fish per 1 in game, no, 1 real life minute. By the way, who doesn't know 
one real life hour it's 24 in-game hours okay should be something better i would like to catch a pontic shed trophy i really like those fish i think that's my favorite fish on this map I mean, there are huge fish. Don't get fooled by this small river because there is the Black Sea Beluga, which is damn fighter. Never fished for them, but I know they are really strong. I mean, no chance with ultralight in any case. But they are going for different method of fishing also. And in any case, if you see that you have two different lures on the rods, one is going way better than the other, or you should change to the same. I usually do it like that and I kind of exhaust it. And then maybe I change to something different. Okay, we have a fish on. Uh, it's not too big, so we're gonna just reel this in and then let's see. Maybe he'll hook up on something on this. You never know. Fish can stay on your rods for a while till you lose it. No worries. And so many pumpkin seeds on fish. It's a good way to fish like this because you can always even examine the zones. Like maybe let's say here there are a lot of pumpkin seed fish next time you know if you you are targeting that type of fish then you come here and you cast just here for that type of fish or so takes usually two two three drifting days so to say so you can get the information in any case the river looks small but it is long enough that you can't drift the hole in a daytime. I think we're gonna end up around here, maybe a bit further, and it's gonna be already nighttime. That means we are heading back. Or who knows? You maybe get the full net in the daytime. As long as it's going like this. Oh, nice. See? I like this fish. They give pretty okay money also. I mean, I have to mention that this method, I could say more for fun or if you're trying to get a lot of species of fish, it's not really making you 500, 600 silver per hour. Definitely won't make you like in really good times made me like 300 or something in a session but where is the average i guess it's around 100 150 we'll see what type of a day are we gonna have today already 25 fish here comes the 26th. Pontic Shed, another one. Thought I had a fish on there. You can always check if there is a fish on by pressing this, like the retriever speed button. And if it gives you like a notification that I'm gonna show it on this fish. 
I'm trying to give information for like everybody beginners and people who are fish for like longer time like this it says there down in the corner now the real rotation speed is selected automatically that means there is a fish okay that one went a bit quiet another pontic shed before around here it was pumpkin seed here it's pontic shed territory even the spinners i like to change them a lot i usually cast like three four times it's a good bite rate on them then i keep it for a bit longer but then i just change it and so on change them between three four casts oh we're drifting beautiful Let's just sit down and change it a bit bit towards the middle so we won't go there into those reeds. So oops. Now I can stand up. Maybe the second rod will need to change the wacky. We'll see. Let's see can be a bit tricky also because maybe for this section one of the rods won't really give you fish but then you get to this section and then it's gonna be constant bite rate so that's what i mean it's like a lot of test 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 till you get a hang of it until you learn it a bit but that's for me also so it's like beginners or no beginners it's same thing it varies a lot but this is how i like to start on light colored wacky that's a nice one and one dark colored okay Here we go. Okay, I have luck with Pontic Shells today, looks like. One thing to not forget, usually check the damage, the wear on your wackies. As long as there are some rubber lures, they get wear off from fish who has t4 usually they are pretty wealthy like 50 percent but i change it way often as long as i have a lot okay this has 18 still better but that's how i do just when they i'm gonna pick it on my hand when they are getting like this line you start to see it it's orange or red it's good to change it. Oh, look, a stone. <laughs> the fun part on this method is you barely have to use energy. It really saves you from using foods and coffees, drinks and everything. 
especially ultra lights they they don't consume so much energy from you i usually avoid this i i would call it empty spot because there are no deep holes but now we are eh, halfway through it so i'm just gonna leave it or eh, i'm gonna leave it as you can see sometimes there is fish sometimes there is not so it's up to you if you want to go through it or just continue drifting looks like there is fish today they are staying on the smaller water so they can warm up a bit on the sun i mean it's 26 degrees pretty warm pretty good another way that you could use i sometimes use it but depends on my mood mostly you could uh, throw a float in or instead of the spinning or something the third one that could be pretty good also but this time i'm just using the spinning okay so that rod is pretty quiet and this one gets almost constant bite rate since we started that means we are going to change the lure after we reel this fish on in Let's try, hmm, should I go for a lighter color? We had this one, the nasty warm one. But let's try this one. I don't really want to go with the same right now. I would go for something lighter, but different color. We'll see. was a nice Volga soon when there is going to be a bit closer to the night time the eyes and chubs will start to bite a bit frequently there is always a chance for a trophy tiny fish and another one What did I say that we're gonna drift till here a bit more till the night comes? <laughs> I was pretty damn right. Fun comes first, then the rest. That's my mindset before going fishing in this game and in real life also. And nothing can go wrong. As I said, the chops are coming as the night is coming. The eye is waking up. Trophy eyes and trophy chops, they can put up a fight on a 
ultralight. That's for sure. Soon it's night time. Depends if the bite rate sometimes gets a bit up, like they are still fighting constantly. I mean, I may fish it a bit over nine time, though, but not too much, like one extra in game hour or one and a half maximum. Too depends. Really depends. But if it's like after, like now that the moon appeared on the upper right corner, that means it's night time. And in that case, if in the following half an hour we won't catch anything, then I'm just gonna head back. I'm not gonna just force it, but 54 fish in 39 minutes, that's pretty good. Now oh, it's so dark that you barely can see your rod. Okay, 55 fish. Small. Oh, that's the first. Okay. I'm going to reel in my rods and drive back to sell the fish, check the fish, and check the cafe orders. So, see you there. So, here we are at the base. And uh, first, always, I recommend to check the cafe orders, especially when we have so many species of fish, you never know. Uh we caught this in the last two casts. Maybe one more would have been nice, but it is what it is. And one other tip that I would give when you're in this situation, you need just one piece of let's say now is the eyed. One is 1.4, one is 1.1 kilo. Choose always from weight so it can show you from the smallest weight and then because this fish can give you better money silver in the fishing market and this fish a bit less okay it's not such a huge difference but still you know be wise with your money and i rather do it because the cafe order will give you 16.44 no matter what as long as it's from one kilo and up so you can have like a trophy eyed never do it <laughs> because it will give you 16 so we sell the cheaper one we didn't catch this pumpkin ah damn would have been a good cafe order <coughs> already from these three fish we would have made 70 almost 80 but it is what it is we made just 16 let's go to the fish market sell let's see how much we made by price we made okay it's as i said 100 150 on average and on a really good day can go up to more i mean i'm not complaining i had fun it was pretty enjoyable and in any case uh, you can always try and go for longer try the night maybe it works for you you never know sometimes it can work but this was mostly focused on drifting with wackies on daytime in any case we are on the end and if you enjoyed this video please drop a subscribe like i would really appreciate that and tell me in the comments below if what was your biggest fish on this map. I'm really curious of hearing that. Or 
reading that. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.